Time for Big Game Breakdown. As always, go to SBR Odds and Sportsbook Review. Check out their rating guide. Make sure you're betting with a trustworthy shop out there. Uh, adjusted series price. Unbelievable. Cavs are minus 2,700. Uh, Cavs are 5.5 in Game 2 on the road, 219.5 the total. There was a lot of the focus on the rest versus rust in Game 1. LeBron James was awesome, 39 points. Seven of his first eight field goal attempts, point-blank range. He had no problems getting to the basket whenever he wanted. Kevin Love had 32. Tristan Thompson didn't miss. Seven of seven. Outplayed Al Horford. Talked to Sean Grandy on the VEASAN uh, radio show I do, Vegas Stats and Info Network. Uh, Play-by-play voice of the Celtics. If the Celtics keep it within five in the rebounding battle, they're 49-12 and 12 this year. If they out-rebound their opponents, they're 29-3. and three. Easier said than done. They were 27th in rebounding in the regular season, and they've been dead last in the playoffs so far, Teddy. That's where they have to uh, make some adjustments and do a better job in this game, too. Well, there's a lot of places where Boston needs to make adjustments if they expect Game 2 to be more competitive than Game 1. And if you're asking me where it starts, it's on the offensive end for the Celtics. I mean, the Cavs' defense, let's be real was a terrible defense in the regular season. They weren't very good in the first round against Indiana. And all of a sudden, they absolutely shut down Isaiah Thomas. Thomas started the game, what, 2 of 8 from the field um, until the end of the second quarter. Boston's already down by more than 20. He's got three turnovers and two field goals made. You know, he got in the lane. He had no good looks at the basket. The team, the the Cavs took away his passing lanes. They took away his scoring lanes. Uh, Kyrie Irving, quote, we just had a real high awareness on Thomas. You have to. He can get it going at any time. He has put up huge numbers in these playoffs. For us, we just made a conscious effort on our end to keep all eyes on him at all times. We we'll also respect the other guys and make the other guys do things that they're uncomfortable doing. Look, Isaiah Thomas, 7 of 19 from the floor, just 17 points. Only the fourth time in 90 games this year, Pauly, regular season and playoffs, that Thomas has attempted more field goals than he scored points. Uh, Tristan Thompson, quote, does a great job when teams are dropping with the pull-up threes. For us, we wanted to get the ball out with a hard shower for blitzing him. Just force him to give up the ball and make other guys make plays. Thompson continues, you can't stop everything. If it's Jay Crowder or Marcus Smart with the open threes, we're going to take our chances with the percentage. Uh, The guys we can't leave open are Avery Bradley and Thomas. That, yeah. here's where Here's where it's scary and cause for concern. The last two games have been very similar to the start and the battle on the boards. Uh, April 5th, 57-42, Cavs at the half, 33-19 in rebounds. Game 1, 61-39 at the half, 28-14 on the boards as well. That would combine to a full game count of 118-81 to with a 61-33 rebounding margin. And look at LeBron in 41 minutes, in those 41 minutes, plus 44. Scored more than a point per minute in the opening half of those games with 12 rebounds, 7 assists, and only 1 turnover. And more on the rebounding mismatch. Look at this graphic. Kevin Love, 18 minutes, 20 rebounds. The Boston starters, 161 minutes, 23 rebounds. Come on, guys. Crowder, quote, a lot of underdogs in this locker room. A lot of guys who had to prove themselves in this league. We've been through the ropes. We've had to prove. Uh, we've had to prove themselves. It's in our DNA. End quote. Uh, this will be their season, Teddy. I mean, I, you're supposed to get a great effort here tonight because if they lose, you know it's over and it's one, two, three, Cancun. Well, the scary thing, the really scary thing for Boston, is that in these two, I mean, basically two games that were over at halftime, one to determine home court edge in the playoffs, where. The Celtics ended up stealing that anyway, uh, despite the fact they lost at home by margin of the Cavs. And then, of course, uh, game one uh, of this series, Cleveland wasn't even hitting threes in the first half of those games. Only six of 28 from three-point range in uh, over the 48 minutes of those two first halves. That's a little bit scary when you're getting bombed uh, off the floor because in any given game, the Cavs are capable of just lighting it up from downtown. And that hasn't happened yet. Uh, at least in the last two, uh, against Boston. Now, you talked about that Crowder quote where he's saying, hey, you know, a lot of guys who had to prove themselves in this league. It's in our DNA. We're dogs, you know. Uh, and I agree with that mentality. I understand that mentality. Isaiah Thomas, quote, with a team like that, the defending champs, you can't let them hit first. We'll definitely make sure it's different for game two. 
They were the more energized team. There's a reason for that. Of course, he was alluding to the fact that the Cavs had 10 days off prior to the opener in this one. So the rest, still not equal for these two teams, but at least a little bit better for Boston because Cleveland played a game. That being said, the Cavs, 5-0 and straight up, 5-0 and against the spread on the road in the postseason. Some betters might have pushed game four uh, at the close at Toronto. Uh, if you had Cleveland that game and you pushed, you need to work on your betting skills more than your handicapping skills. But with the elite teams in the postseason, you make more money on them on the highway. We've seen that with Golden State. We've seen that with Cleveland. But from a spot perspective, it feels like a game, an 0-2 team coming home for game three, even though it's an 0-1 team, a team down 0-1 at home for game two. Everyone knows if the Celtics doesn't get, don't make this game competitive, that it's going to be a 1-2-3 Cancun situation, Paulie, as you mentioned. Uh, at the top, it's a situation for Boston. They have to bring their A game, and their A game may or may not be good enough because the Cavs, you know, you say, have they turned the switch? They have flipped. Yeah, they flipped that proverbial switch, and they're only getting better, as you mentioned. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.